Well, it looks to be the second drowning at Lake Pleasant in just about a week or so, and it comes as more and more people start to head out to the lake as the weather starts to warm up. So what can you do to avoid a tragedy out on the water? Because we know you always have to be so careful. So Kylie is out there to show us around and uh, say good morning to Mark out there for me. Good morning, and Mark says hello to you as well. We are here on Peoria Fire and Medical. They have got this rescue boat here, and they have four crew members on here, and they're actually going to do a mock rescue for us this morning. So we're going to show you that. We also want to introduce to you Greg Serrano. He is a captain with Peoria. Good morning. Good morning. So walk me through what's happening right here as we threw uh, somebody out there, not an actual person, right. but we threw a mannequin out there. So what are you guys doing? So right now you're going to see a rescue, and this is, this is how we do... Um, affect our rescue. We have swimmer one in the front. He's leading out. He's going to go capture the patient and try to stabilize. Uh, rescue swimmer number two is going to go out. He's tied to a line and our captain who's also running command at the time and, and communicating with the boat operator. Uh, he's going to be the line tender. Once you see our ha hand signals that say we've secured the patient, they're going to bring the patient to the boat and at that point we'll start doing our uh, paramedic skills, ALS skills, to stabilize the patient the best we can before we can get them back to the shoreline where uh, other fire units uh, will be waiting. How stressful is a situation like this? Uh, well, for the patient, definitely very stressful. Uh, for us, this is why we come out and we do weekly training. Uh, we think about so many different uh, variations, so many ideas on how uh, to do exactly what you just saw, which is affect these rescues. So, uh, in the moment, uh, we rely on our training, and then it, it, that just takes over. What are some of the most common rescues you see? Oh, it could be um, anything from trauma, prop injuries, uh, cliff diving. You got people that come out; they just want to enjoy the water. It's warm, especially in the summer months. Uh, they're going to get into the water just to try to cool off, and sometimes they don't know their limitations. Maybe they're dehydrated, uh, possibly intoxicated, and uh, they panic. Panic sets in, water's a little cold, and from there, um, anything can happen. What is it like for you? I mean, when you're responding to these situations, that has to be emotional for you at times, too, when you're, it's a life or death scenario. True, but the, the training is the, is the key, right? So we have to gather a lot of information when we leave the station, try to get to uh, where you are so we can affect that rescue. So what's happening now? Obviously, this is not a real person, but what would they be doing once they bring the person to the boat? Right, exactly. So the dummy, we it, it utilize the dummy, and, and we've affected the rescue now that we've transitioned to um, put them onto the boat, and we're going to start using our ALS equipment, uh, put them on the monitor, if they're conscious, that's going to change how we're going to uh, treat them. If they're unconscious, that sort of thing. So at this point, uh, we're kind of effect, uh, simulating that there was a drowning. We would start CPR. Uh, we would start putting the monitor on the patient. But obviously, this is the dummy, and it's, it's, it's going to be different with the human body. Before we go, what do you want people to know as maybe they're coming out this weekend with the triple digits or Memorial Day, or they've got plans soon? The biggest thing is have a plan. Know where you're going to go. Um, know where you you have a cell phone so that you can communicate, uh, know the limitations, uh, stay hydrated, and um, enjoy the water, but understand that it does demand and, and uh, a rightful respect for it. And obviously wear a life jacket too. One final thing to note, this is a copy of the lake. You can see all of these coves, a really cool map probably best to maybe download it, screenshot it, or something. You can do a quick Google search so you know exactly where you're going to be. Side note, this is Jamie Serretta's cousin. Great job. He clearly uh, maybe got some pointers from his cousin, but Scott, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Have fun out here, but again, be safe because we know boating can be dangerous oh, if you yeah. have precautions. Got to be careful. By the way, even that dummy was heard saying, this water's cold. <laughs> It is cold. It's uh, in the mid-60s. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, Kylie, thank you.